hugely disappointing uh, result for us. Uh, look back at our season right now. We've had a lot of close games that uh, I haven't been able to coach us up the last couple minutes to, to make the plays on either end of the floor. But uh, Washington State did a nice job spreading us out as the game wore on. Uh, the three-point line, as we knew, would be a, a real key to the game. They shot, uh, not only made a lot of shots, but shot at a very high rate, uh, which is going to be hard for us to overcome. The offensive rebounds, I thought, were impactful as well. Um, our guys competed, uh, got down uh, in the second half and fought back. Uh, the question of desire and grit um, is not a question. Our guys have it. Um, but I have not been able to give the plan, give the plays, give the defensive uh, um, game plan uh, that's unlocked our ability to get wins down the stretch. Coach, you had a pretty calm position today in the second half, and then it started out moving right out. How do you feel about the way your guys were playing in the second half? I'll have to go back and look at it. I thought it was uh, um, pretty efficient, actually. I thought I need to look and, and see what shots went in or not, or you know, I don't know, points per possession. But uh, we ran five or different, five or six different actions, and most of them got the ball to the middle of the paint. Um, got a couple open looks from it, but um, I'll go back and look. But it wasn't, in my mind, I thought it was uh, an effective attack against the zone. How about the performance of Baylor tonight? Is this going to enter against us tonight? Or not? He's a heck of a player. Um, 22 points, efficient, four or five from the three-point line. Uh, he's playing at an extremely high level uh, throughout the year. He did so tonight. Um, a lot of different one-on-one -on -one matchups that we didn't, uh, weren't able to um, keep him out of the paint. And when he was shooting from the three-point line, uh, our contests were not uh, what they needed to be. The tip dunk tip, or the yeah, kind of the tip. So you're playing three timeouts and that kind of thing. Too. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to um, get Harrison going downhill. Um, you know, ideally get Maxime uh, rolling to the basket, but uh, try and give us a couple different options of getting to the paint, uh, which we tend to do a lot better once we do that. Um, but that was kind of the plan. Brandon, talk about the performance tonight. Obviously, not the, the team result that you wanted. I think you had 17 points. I mean, it's like Coach always says, just lose yourself in the game. Obviously, I don't think I've been performing the way I could have all year. And I mean, it's just credit to my teammates. They're always behind me, encouraging me, telling me to keep going. At the end of the day, um, I have their backs, they have my backs, and I trust the work I put in. And eventually, I know, stay the course, and things will start to pay off. So keep competing, play hard. Good things should happen for us. Absolutely. I mean, as you guys all know, Keith brings quite an element that not many of us can bring. And he's physical, tough, gritty. And, I mean, he makes he makes effort plays day in and day out. In practice, he's physical, tough, and he brings a different element. What's been the key to your growth since your point two from the beginning of your senior first year and through now? Just what's really allowed you to blossom in, in that area from the beginning of first year? To I mean, absolutely it's nothing changed for me. I mean, I put in the work. I shoot every night and do what I do what I do and for me it's just consistency in my habits and knowing that it'll pay off down the road. Yeah, senior day always means a lot. It's just odd times right now. Uh, you know, we'll honor some of the seniors that want to be honored, um, but we don't know. You know, they all they all have the ability to come back. <laughs> and obviously, they'll all have their degrees as well. So it's a kind of a unique situation. Uh, I will say the senior class has been extremely meaningful to me. Um, I absolutely love going to battle with the guys. Um, proud of the way they've developed um, on and off the court. They're going to be absolute rock stars uh, after they graduate. Um, you know, after the season, each one of them will have to make decisions on exactly what their future plans are. Uh, but this time, it's an, a great opportunity to honor the guys that want to be honored. You talked about transfer agreements a couple nights ago, and you really feel like you've been a pretty good signing for them this year. Just, you know, any, anything, does it help to get an extra date with Fairport team, or your thoughts on kind of that aspect of the transition? 
yeah, we'll try and use it to our benefit. It, you know, gives another day rest, which is a positive. Uh, gives another day of prep, which is positive. Obviously, our opponent's going to have the same same aspect there, and hopefully, we can use it more to our benefit. Um, we'll do a deep dive into this game, learn from the mistakes we made, and try and improve those. Uh, we'll make sure we're taking care of the guys' bodies so they're uh, feeling fresh and ready by the time game rolls around. Another net will have a, a very similar approach and just try and do it better. Harrison Scott with a you know, interesting one coming in at three points as well. He has nine. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of three point attempts now for him in this one. Um, even though the percentage has been, you know, been better. But were you, are you glad to see him looking for his, for his shot more from deep? Because it has been falling for him at times. Yeah, I think his confidence has grown with shooting the basketball. Um, so I'm not opposed to. The number of shots is the, it, you know, with any of the guys, really, it's the quality. And I would just want to make sure that um, the quality is what we want it to be. You know, late in the game, I probably uh, would have preferred uh, taking the ball to the basket. It was a late shot clock kind of situation. Um, I'm not as excited about step back threes, late shot clocks. I think he has such a, a great ability to get the ball downhill and get the ball to the paint. So um, there might have been a couple that I would have preferred him putting, putting the ball on the deck and getting downhill. but. Um, I do think he's playing better and better as the year is going on, and I do want him to be aggressive.